Hello everyone, welcome to part 5 of dating social networking website in Laravel 5.6 and uh, in this video, uh, first of all, uh, we are going to uh, resolve the issue we are facing in the uh, last video uh, uh, while submitting uh, the already existed email ID. Okay, so in last video we have seen, we have done the validation part uh, of our register form, user register form, and and uh, we are going to resolve the issue we are facing. Uh, like, uh, if the email already exists, then it will give the error message here that email already exists. Otherwise, it will allow user to register the form. And along with this, we are going to do one more thing. We are going to work on captcha as well. We are going to implement Google captcha. Uh, for the first time in Laravel in our project, in our dating project here, we are going to uh, add Google Captcha. That uh, is really good for security. We must add Captcha because we don't want any unauthorized access, uh, anything uh, means spam. We don't want spam in our website. Same I have done uh, in my website, in some 10 years back. Uh, at that time, I, I also CAPTCHA was required and today also CAPTCHA is required because a lot of spam coming up, a lot of, uh, uh, lot of uh, uh, people uh, use, the, uh, use automatic software, automatic applications uh, to, for spamming. So, see, uh, this, is, this, uh, this is kind of uh, uh, CAPTCHA I have used. But now we have the Google CAPTCHA, so we will use Google CAPTCHA as well. But first of all, we will resolve the issue we are facing in the last video. So uh, in part five, uh, first we are going to, to resolve the issue we are facing. Uh, in last video and then we will add captcha uh, to our user register form okay uh, so these are the two things we will work on and see first of all uh, we are going to resolve the issue Okay, we are facing in last video. So, uh, in last video, we are checking, uh, we are checking uh, whether uh, the email or we can say uh, email or username, okay, uh, already exists or not, okay. And uh, now we are going to simply update check email function uh, in the user controller to resolve the issue. So see what issue we are facing in the form. First of all, we must know that what kind of issue we are facing. Okay, now see. Uh, see validations are working fine that is not an issue but see now this email id amit php programmer at the rate of gmail.com uh, it's already exists and if we are going to add this email id it is giving us error 500 internal server error okay means it is uh, not uh, returning the right uh, 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 right value so, so that we can print here that this email already exists. We are returning email already exists message, but it is not working accordingly. So, what we need to update? See what we have done so far. First, see this. This is the register blade file, and here uh, we are using the user email ID and name as email. Okay, this thing, and here in main.js we are using the validation for our form and here we are using the remote function uh, or remote function where we are calling check email 
uh, uh, second mail page uh, that uh, we have used in the route and we are calling check email function in user controller and check email function uh, then returning false and true uh, based on uh, the output of the user count if the user count is greater than zero it is returning false otherwise it is returning true okay now see user count is greater than zero in this case our user count is greater than zero because amit php program at the gmail.com is already exists so the user count is greater than zero and it must return false and must give the message uh, see it will return false and its message is uh, we will find out its message is email already exists and that message must be displayed okay so the issue is in this part return false and return true is the issue and what we will do we will not do like this we will uh, just echo and and then we'll return false like this okay we will uh, return just the test like uh, with echo and then simply uh, like true okay so this is the thing we will uh, do and then we are going to check that whether it is coming fine or not this time and i am going to check the same email id see email already exists message has come correctly this time email already exists because the email has already exists see we will use another email id now that also exists and now we will check this one also see this one uh, we will remove this space see email already exists again so we will use some other email id that does not exist in our database see now the message is gone so it's the unique email and the message is gone so uh, it will allow it to add into the database so we know we come to know that what is the issue uh, so uh, uh, so we simply uh, need to update uh, below code okay uh, that is uh, see this is the code uh, that you just need to update with and if i will give whole function you can give whole function that need to be update like this so complete function is like this you can update the complete function at your end and then it will work fine okay so it's fine i think now the issue must have resolved now we can uh, this entry we can try this entry and two three four five six seven five oh sorry sorry it's already uh, okay, one two three four five six one two three four five six okay seven six seven we will give oh uh, please enter the same password as it is uh, now what is this we are going to see uh, password password confirm password and it is fine you could type password and password yes. now what is this issue uh, okay no issue we will see again one two three four five six two three four five six this one was available seven seven user password Yeah, uh, just need to see that our ID must be matched. Uh, seven is here, seven is here now, now it's fine. Okay, uh, now see, uh, I have done with the user password, ID, ID must be unique, equal to user password, now it's fine. Okay, I have given its ID as user password, like I have given its user email, so I will match it with user password. Now we can uh, do one entry, okay? 
uh, I will do one unique entry like Steve Yahoo.com 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, okay, 7, I will give 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, okay, that is fine. And that name is also Steve. And this one, now register. Now we'll see that whether it is coming here or not. And it has come. See, this third entry has come with the password. It is fine. So we able to register this time. So, uh, and also it will tell the uniqueness of the ID. If you will give the same ID, then it will show the error. Otherwise, it will not show at all. Okay. So that is fine. And now, uh, now we will do uh, uh, the captcha the google captcha we are going to use now google captcha uh, like we have done here uh, like this this is the google captcha this uh, we want to fill the same kind of code like uh, then only it will allow otherwise if we will uh, add but we will add some other uh, captcha we will add the google captcha uh, okay i am going to explain you google captcha uh, laravel we are going to add okay in this key part so give thing uh download and install google captcha okay captcha tc okay okay so 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 uh, now, uh, what we are going to do, we are going to see this one. We are going to install this one, Google Captcha for Laravel 5. This is the link. So, uh, search for Laravel Google Captcha. and uh, click on below and open the blow button and open the blow link okay take help from this one and one more is there I have already done earlier so I know that which links are uh, from both these links we will take help and will install the captcha okay so first of all uh, see this is the captcha we are going to work on see this is the captcha this is Google captcha very simple you just need to tick this one and then it will uh, assure that the user is not a robot and so it is very simple captcha you no need to write any kind of code in this just you need to click on the checkbox just you need to check the checkbox and the captcha is done okay and if in case you are not going to check the checkbox and will click on submit then it will show the error and will not allow you to proceed okay so this is the capture we are going to install we are going to configure in our laravel dating website so now uh, see the process what are we will follow this website for it and we are going to install uh, first we are going to uh, install this capture with this command okay so uh, run below command to install the captcha in our dating website okay we can add here install google captcha add you can say add google captcha okay in user register form okay this is the thing 
and now we are going to run this command okay so first of all i am going to click right click here so just follow the things very carefully i am going to first install uh, laravel google captcha plugin let's install it and see it will take some time okay in the meantime we can see other things as well see here in config we will open this file config add php and we'll add this uh, uh, this uh, uh, path there we'll add this service provider provider there captcha syntax here and then we will publish config then again we will run this command in uh, here in our, our uh, command prop uh, and to publish that captcha and after that we will we are going to see other things as well and uh, yeah so for sure we will generate captcha secret and captcha side key okay uh, from our google account you every one of you must have a google account if you are not having you must create one google account okay so after that we are going to display the captcha in our user form so these are the steps we are going to follow uh, to install the captcha so starting with uh, first step that we need to uh, add the captcha we need to install the captcha with composer require uh, bus uh, slash laravel hyphen google hyphen captcha command okay so now let it install this captcha then we will uh, do we will see okay and from this website as well you can uh, come to know that this is the captcha we are going to implement and and uh, see this is the process we need to follow okay so uh, we need to get the key and uh, key and uh, secret key and side key from google uh, so uh, we also need to register in google uh, for getting these keys okay so that also we will do uh, okay so this thing we can do right now because it it is taking time in selling so we can uh, in the meantime can create uh, keys for capture i'm going to see the link which we need to open google link uh, yeah here it is we need to open this link and get keys from google so here yeah it is taking time so we will uh going to uh install the keys so first of all you need to uh, open this link okay so uh see why the installation uh, is going on we can register uh, the keys in google from we can get the keys from google and get the keys from google by opening slowly okay we need to open this link google.com recapture this link we need to open and when we will open this link it, uh, then we will click on my recapture okay so i click on my recapture see you now yeah if you are not logged in then it will ask you to log in but we have already logged in i already created for my another website but we will create now for local host okay and we going to select recapture version 2 here also i am going to add local host as uh, as i am going to do it for my local host website and i will also give here uh, the ip okay so that no confliction so that uh, 
uh, it will allow it as well and we'll click on accept the recapture terms and service and we'll click on register okay see now the site key and secret key has come that we are going to use uh, for our captcha so you need to follow this step uh, to get the uh, site key and uh, secret key okay uh, so uh, just follow the step we have done in video to get the uh, site key and secret key uh, for google captcha okay so k a p p c h a okay this is the captcha okay so we will see that our installation yeah it's now completed our installation is now complete so we are going to uh, exit this installation and we'll continue with the other steps we will now do other steps okay see now uh, we are going to open this config app.php file now okay we are going to open this file yeah here it is and see uh, in this file we are going to add uh, our provider here here i am going to add so I keep remember so uh, now we will add below uh, below syntax as in this file x file okay so uh, in providers we are going to add in providers um, uh, at the end of providers okay same like they have done as a whisper to the providers array and uh, like this okay so add service provider to the providers array uh, in config app.php okay so now uh, see uh, this command is incomplete and uh, see I'm going to copy this one but uh, I'm afraid this is incomplete so we will complete it by giving class here as well so you need to uh, just simply add this file add this uh, code at last before this one okay so you simply need to do like this okay so after this uh, we will run this command once again uh, and and now run below command uh, once again okay this is the command that we will run okay now see uh, what i am going to do i am going to run this command again uh, here i'm going to run this command again so see this yeah this is done so we can now exit uh, now this is also done and uh, now we are left with very few steps uh, now we will see uh, capture.php this file is fine this one helpers a custom capture fine and now see we will in dot env file uh, we file i am going to add now okay now i am going to add at last uh, and then uh, we are going to add captcha uh, here keys for keys we are going to add okay so now uh add these keys so this one we will do now add capture secret and capture it to in file that we have got uh from google recently so we will do side key side key here 
and uh, secret key secret key we can add here okay fine now another step we are going to uh, use now we will uh, use from here in another website you know i am going to add so add this code okay just simply add the blow part to uh, to to add the captcha in your laravel register blade file now add below code uh, okay so in in register blade file to show the captcha okay so uh, so we can just simply uh, you can show all or you can uh, just show this part as well but first we will show all uh, yeah it's fine or we can show just like this div to div and one div is starting and one is closing it's fine so just we will add this part okay like this simple simple and okay, add this straight away you can add like this and find this code you can add okay so uh, this is the code uh, you can add so we can add now in our register blade file see here what i am going to do i am going to make one more tr and here i will write captcha okay captcha and here i will copy this part or i can copy this part only okay so we'll add it here okay like this simply like this so even this part is not required you can simply add this part as well so now see whether good, good, uh, that captcha uh, comes to our form or not we are going to refresh now and we'll see wow it comes see it is coming in our first attempt so it hardly happens but uh, we are not finished yet uh, now we will add another code see yeah it is working fine so we will add uh, another code so when we submit uh, it then gives error if someone will not check it so uh, what we are going to do so uh, we are going to add this code now see what we are going to add now uh, in uh, register function in user now in register function in user controller dot php file uh, add below code uh, after uh, After download data request on after this one, okay. So add below code like this one. We are going to remove this one. We don't require just be required for capture. That is fine. Okay. You just simply can add this code. Okay. So uh, we are going to add this code here. This is to check whether the cap is uh, 
for Google Captcha. Uh, it will return back to register if Captcha not selected. Okay. So now we are going to refresh and we are going to submit without captcha. Okay, so I will select any email ID, I will write any email ID like abc at the rate of yahoo.com 123456 one two three four five six seven five and now here at abc and here market and now i'm going to click on register now now see what will happen see uh, here error message has come the g recapture response field is required okay so it is not allowing and we can check here that entry has come or not see entry has not come here at all so we will register again abc of dot com one two three four five six seven one two three four five six seven and then abc and then this one and then we are going to click on i am not a robot okay now i am going to click on register now again and we'll see now that whether it will come see now this time no error message comes and we are going to click on browse and this time entry has come to our users table okay so so now you have seen in video uh, that uh, uh, it will uh, that user get registered uh, get registered only if uh, captcha is checked otherwise it gives error okay uh, that's all uh, for now uh, as far as the recent form is for, uh, concerned so we will continue with the next step of research in the next video uh, that in that next step we will ask more details from the user so uh, uh, that's all for now in this video and we will do more in next one when we will uh, do another form oh. okay uh, that is the, that we are going to get dating profile uh, form for dating uh, okay dating profile okay so uh, stay tuned for next video thanks for watching I hope everything is now clear. Uh, we able to resolve the issue that we are facing in our last video. And in this video, we able to add this capture. So that is working fine. And uh, you guys able to do these things in the meantime. And we will do more in the next video. Okay, have a nice time then. Goodbye.